Good morning, class. Happy World Bee Day to you all. I hope you have been working hard on your projects on bees. Beatrice, we will begin this morning with you. For my bee project, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and we will transport to the BBC newsroom where you'll meet some very special creatures. <laughs> And I'm your host, Bert B. We have a fantastic show lined up for you today. Let's hand this over to our farming correspondent, Buzz Barrett. I am here with Farmer Paul and Bean, who's going to talk to me today about the relationship between farmers and the bees. Well, you see, lots of crops are pollinated by, by bees. This helps us farmers with a lot of work that has to be done on the farm. If farmers had to pollinate the plants by themselves, it would take far too much time and far too much cost. Can farmers do anything to help the bees? Well now Buzz, I am part of the Bride Project. When I am cutting my silage, I don't cut too close to the ditch. I leave the hedgerow as it is. This allows more flowers to grow, which the bees can pollinate. It means there is less silage to be cut and therefore less money to pay the silage contractors. That all sounds great, Colin. A win for the farmers and a win for the bees. Good morning, Eliza Beakley. I understand that you are gardening who is making a big difference to bees. I am indeed, my dear. I plant asteroid, alshib and borage in spring. Crocus in winter and wallflower in spring. That's wonderful, Eliza. Is there anything else a gardener can do to make a difference? Of course, my dear. Set aside a small area of your garden for pollinators. Don't mow, let it grow. Don't spray. Overuse of herbicides is making it difficult for pollinators to find flowers. Whoa, thank you for those tips, Beliza. I will be sure to include some of those into my garden this summer. Now I'll hand you over to Hivey Hexagon in her lab. We have some exciting news here at the Hive Laboratory. It looks like scientists have been inspired. The James Webb Space Telescope is the most powerful telescope ever. It was launched on Christmas Day 2021 and is due to start sending pictures in July 2022. My favourite feature of the James Webb Telescope is that it uses a hexagon shape in its design. The bees have done it again, this time in space. Buzz Barrett here again. I am here with this very groovy group of environmentalists to discuss how the changing environment is affecting the bees. Bees and insects don't like change. No man, they don't like change at all. Yeah man, they like the seasons to stay the same. If the climate keeps changing, it will cause big problems for the bees. Yeah man. If warm weather comes too soon, the bees will wake up too early. There will be no flowers and the bees will go hungry as they will have no food to eat. That spells bad news for bees. Oh. And there we have it. Back to you, Bert. We are now live from the hive. I am going to hand you over to our entertainment news correspondent, Bela Blakely. We are indeed Bert. We are here at the Hive, where it's the Hive of Activity. Oh, here comes Artist Bee, who is busy working on a wonderful piece. Yes, I am the Artist Bee. We have some very special creatures we'd like to talk to today. Large Carja Bumblebee, tell me a bit about yourself. Hey everyone, so I'm the Large Car Bumblebee, as you can see. I'm a gorgeous blonde hair bumblebee. A lot of us live in Ireland, I'm very rare, especially in Europe. Well, thank you, Large Carter Bumblebee. And who do we have here? Hey, I'm True Carter Bumblebee. I'm endangered. I have a really loud voice and I can be heard all over the meadow. I think everyone loves me, but I'm not sure about the berries. Well, and thank you. Who do we have here? I am Great Yellow Bumblebee, aka Super Me. I, I am also endangered. And I live in Mayo. Mayo for Sam. Here we are at Fox Club Meadow with the fairies. Oh, there's the beekeeper. Hi, Benjamin. Hi, guys. I'm here today to talk about the bees. Tell me, what is the relationship between the fairies and the bees like? Ugh, we do not like the bees. 2020 was our year. We were changing all over the meadow and beyond. Everyone wanted a fairy door. Now everyone talks about the bees. Bees this, bees that. Be there or be square. All the buzz is about the bees. Okay, we might just leave it there. 
We will now hand you over to our other entertainment correspondent. I am here with Musician B. I believe you are working on Flight of the Bumblebee. Yes, indeed I am. Would you like to hear a bar or two? <laughs> got your work cut out for you there, bud, but the perfect piece to introduce our queen bee. Be be aware in your gardens. Set aside a wildflower area for the bees to continue their important work as pollinators. Don't be afraid of the bees and don't hurt them. If you see an exhausted bee, offer them a spoon of sugar and water. We all need bees for our survival. We have one world. Let's protect it together. Be kind. And that concludes my project on the bees. I hope you enjoyed it.